my lifters out there, you probably know what I'm about to show you. I don't have a PVC pipe here, so I'm showing you with this, um, which does work, but you're probably more likely to be using a PVC pipe, um, or if it's not just for rehab purposes, either a training bar or just your normal um, barbell um, as well, and then you can load up with weights if that's if it's more for training purposes. Um, we're looking at it for rehab purposes, so we are, this might be used when we're trying to get back into overhead movements after not being able to do them for a while due to injury. So your snatch balance, you're going to start with your normal snatch width, bar's going to go behind the head, you're going to bring your traps up and to support the bar, activate your lats, so down here, okay I'll show you from the side. So you can start with just a power snatch, so it's there, getting deeper, and deeper, um, excuse my depth, I haven't got my lips on, so <laughs> that's what it is. Um, what you can also do, which I probably should have done first, was just from this behind the neck position, just some behind the neck presses, nice and light. You can also, once you're down in that position, do behind the neck presses from down here. Really great one for mobility. Okay. Um, trying to think of some extra things to tell you about this. Um, really just thinking about your normal snatch principles. So I likely, I'm not going to give this exercise to you unless you already do lifting along these lines. Um, so just try and think about all the things you'd normally be thinking about in a snatch and you can start to load up as it becomes appropriate. Um, rep wise, we're thinking maybe five to 10 of these. So start high, get lower and lower. Think about doing some behind the neck presses uh, to begin with before you start. And then you can add some in at the bottom layers as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.